Welcome to another video from Autism Advance. Today we'll talk about Connor's syndrome, what it is, what causes it, the disorder symptoms and the available treatments. Before we begin, please take a second and hit that subscribe button below as I will be creating weekly videos that will provide you with information that can make a difference in the life of those affected by autism. So, what is Kenner syndrome? Kenner syndrome is a developmental disorder that affects a person's communication, social interaction, and behavior. It is a type of developmental disorder that falls under the umbrella term of autism spectrum disorder. A child with this type of autism is at the severe end of the spectrum, and he or she will start showing symptoms around the age of 3 years old. Those symptoms are difficulty with communication. This includes delay language development, lack of interest in communicating with others, difficulty understanding nonverbal cues such as facial expression or body language, and repetitive language or echolalia, which is repeating the same words or same phrases. Another symptom is difficulty with social interaction manifested through a lack of interest in playing with others, difficulty in making friends, and lack of empathy or understanding others' feelings, repetitive or restrictive behaviors. This includes following strict routines or rituals, fixation on specific objects or topics, and repetitive movements such as hand flapping or rocking. Sensory processing issues, such as sensitivity to certain sounds, texture, tastes, or lack of response to pain and temperature. Difficulty with transitions or changes in routine, which leads to anxiety or distress. And last, difficulty with executive function, which includes difficulty with planning, organization, and problem solving. You may wonder, what causes Connor syndrome? Well, the exact cause of the Connor syndrome are not fully understood. However, research suggests that a combination of genetic and environmental factors may play a role. Some possible causes of Connor syndrome include genetic factors. Studies have shown that there may be a genetic component to Connor syndrome, as it tends to run in families. Researchers have identified a number of genes that may be associated with the disorder. Environmental factors. Exposure to certain environmental factors such as toxins, infections, or medication during pregnancy may increase the risk of developing Connor syndrome. Neurological factors. Research suggests that there may be differences in the structure and function of the brain in individuals with Connor syndrome. Also, the exact nature of those differences is still being studied. Last, immunological factors. Some studies have suggested that immune system dysfunction may play a role in the development of the syndrome. It is important to note that Connor syndrome is not caused by poor parenting or social abridging, as was once thought. Current research suggests that it is a complex disorder that arises from a combination of genetic and environmental factors. Connor syndrome is diagnosed through a combination of behavioral and developmental evaluation, as well as interviews with parents, caregivers, and other professionals who work with the individual. A diagnosis of the syndrome is typically made by a team of healthcare professionals, including a pediatrician, neurologist, and psychologist. Now that you are aware of what Connor syndrome is, its symptoms, and the potential causes, let's talk about the available treatments. Unfortunately, there is no cure for Connor syndrome. However, Early intervention and treatment can help individuals with the syndrome to develop skills that will enable them to live more independently. 
Treatment typically includes a combination of behavioral and occupational therapies. Those are behavioral therapy, such as applied behavioral analysis, can help individual with Connett syndrome learn new skills and behaviors. ABA therapy involves breaking down complex skills into smaller, more manageable steps and providing rewards or positive reinforcement for successful completion of each step. Speech therapy can help individuals with Connor syndrome improve their communication skills, including verbal and nonverbal communication. Speech therapy may involve teaching individuals to use assistive technology, such as communication devices or picture cards, to help them communicate. Occupational therapy can help individuals with Connor syndrome develop skills for daily living, such as self-care and social skills. Occupational therapists may work with individuals to develop routine and strategies for managing sensory issues and transitioning between activities. Medication. Despite the fact that there is no medication that can cure current syndrome, some medications may be used to manage certain symptoms of the disorder, such as anxiety, depression, or hyperactivity. Last, alternative therapies. Some individuals with the syndrome may benefit from alternative therapies, such as music therapy, art therapy, or animal-assisted therapy. Those therapies can help individuals relax and express themselves in a non-verbal way. Even if it's not categorized as a therapy, I would like to mention education and support, as they are important for both individuals with Connor syndrome and their families. Support groups, educational programs, and individual counseling can help individuals with Connor syndrome and their families learn about the disorder and develop coping strategies for managing its symptoms. Also, I would like to emphasize that the most effective treatment plan for Connor syndrome will vary depending on the individual's specific needs and symptoms. A team of healthcare professionals, including doctors, therapists, and educators, can work together to develop a personalized treatment plan for each individual with Connor syndrome. I hope this video provided you with a better understanding about what Connor syndrome is, its causes, the symptoms, and treatment. If you have any questions, please type them in the comment below and I will do my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.